one thing I tell myself when I'm hurt by what someone has done is I have to become less expectant and less trusting to avoid being disappointed again. I I know this is probably not the best advice, but one thing is sure, it is certain that as long as we are alive, we will offend others and be offended by others and situations in our lives. Offenses are bound to happen, but what do we do about them and how do we react? Hello again and welcome to another episode of Open Life Podcast. My name is Comfort Oladaya Degbima and I trust you have been doing very good. So um, today's talk, today's podcast is titled Peace by All Means and I trust that you will be blessed. Do stay tuned. It is God's desire for us to experience peace within and without. What exactly does this mean? It means that we can be at peace with ourselves and also be at peace with others around us. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16, the King James Version, gives us a peek into what God's plan and desire is for us. He says, Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the lord be with you all it is kind of delusional for us to think that everything would always work yeah i know the bible says all things work together for our good but that does not erase the fact that we'll be faced with certain challenges and it's going to be delusional for us to think that everything would always work as it should and that nothing will interfere with the smooth running of things in our lives even the devil is said to move to and fro he doesn't just sit around with his arms folded so it is possible that in a single day you would miss your boss you would encounter traffic or you would have someone ruin your neat dress by spilling coffee or something else so you can go ahead and fill in the gap as it suits you or whatever circumstance you are facing at the moment however we have the choice to let these things steal our peace or not steal our peace remember that if god wants peace for us the devil always seeks the opposite therefore by all means we should also seek peace Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14, the New King James Version tells us that pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. This is very important because when our mind is in distress and we are not at peace within, it is kind of difficult for us to receive from God. And when also we are not at peace with those around us, God's blessings are in that. So we all have a role to play in deciding how people and circumstances will affect us and our peace. And one key thing I want you to, you know, take note of today is that we are all called, we have the responsibility of actively pursuing peace first with ourselves and then with others around us the truth is peace we will not just sit on our lap we have to go after it seek it until we lay hold of it just as the bible says in the book of psalms chapter 34 verse 14 the amplified version it says that depart from evil and do good then seek inquire for and crave peace and pursue go after it but but then how do we go after peace i believe that in both cases whether we are seeking peace within or seeking peace with others we definitely need god's help we definitely do need god's help so we need to put our trust in god and be broken before him isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 the amplified version says that you will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace whose mind both its inclination 
and its character is stayed on you because he commits himself to you, leans on you, and hopes confidently in you. Philippians chapter 4, 6 to 7, the New King James Version also says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything and by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. So now the question is, where is your focus? How often are your eyes, how often are my eyes fixed on God in our daily lives? You know, the more we focus on and lean on the Prince of Peace, the more peace we experience in all areas of our lives. Don't forget that to pursue God is to pursue peace and to go after peace is to go after God. My prayer for us today is that may the Prince of Peace visit you, visit me, visit us today and beyond, always guarding our hearts with peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The song I'll be leaving us with this week is My Heart Will Trust by you song worship. As you listen, I pray may the God of peace minister peace to you and may he say to you and establish you in all areas till we meet again to stay comforted. Bye. Have a great week. On the highway through the darkest night will you hold my hand Jesus guide my way Oh you mourn with me and you dance with me for my heart of hearts is bound to you in you